You're basically applauding me for only eating as much as I need now. Oh. I should have... I should have always been doing that. I got fat because I was a greedy, lazy bastard. They make don't such they? an effort, don't they, fat girls? They've all, always got lovely hair, aren't they? They're always having their hair. They've all got lovely hair. Always got lovely hair. Always got those lovely false nails, no. aren't they? They make an effort. Anything but jogging. Oh, uh, no! Don't come for us. Hello, guys. You're welcome. My name is... BK Crown. So guys, we're going to be checking out a video together titled Fat People. Wow, I'm kind of offended right now. Because I'm fat. Am I fat? How can you name this kind of video fat people? And I, I don't know I'm going to take like react to this video. I don't know whether it's gonna praise us or it's gonna bash at us. I don't know what's coming for us in this video. I'm just checking it out for the first time with you. The title is Fat People by Ricky. Jeff Bia. So, let's watch, guys. ...things that we never did in the first place. Why are you applauding someone for suddenly acting like a normal member of society? Um, it's like, it's like, I've lost a bit of weight. I've lost about 20 pounds. Exactly! What? No! No! You're basically applauding me for only eating as much as I need now. I should have... I should have always been doing that. I got fat because I was a greedy, lazy bastard. There's no other explanation. And... I, I, just, I needed people that they come to me now and they go, oh well, oh well done, you look great. But they weren't telling me I looked terrible. They're basically saying I look terrible. They no, to, no one told me at the time it was really taboo. I needed waiters to come over and go, fuck off, you've had enough, <laughs> right? <laughs> and I've been criticised in the past for having a go at fat people. I've never had a go at fat people. I've only ever pointed out the fact that you get fat if you take in more calories than you burn off. That's simple science. I don't judge them in any other aspect of their life, but that's what happens. You get fat if you take in more calories than you burn off, OK? And that, that's indisputable, OK? Now, the thing is, people think I'm having a go. I'm not, because I don't judge them. If I see a fat person, I don't make assumptions about him other than how they got fat. And this is the other thing. They not... No, wait, wait, right? <laughs> not only is that what makes you fat, People know that's what's making them fat. No one got fat behind their own back. Mm. No one ate and, ate and went, what the fuck's that? OK? <laughs> it's not a surprise. It's a gradual process. You have loads of time to back out from this project. <laughs> uh, and he... Also, no one's sneaking into thin people's apartments and uh, injecting their lettuce with a million calories. That doesn't happen, OK? They know what's doing. If you go up to a bloke and he's surrounded by cakes and pies, right, and you go, you know what's making you fat, don't you? He doesn't go... Is it all the running? He knows what it... <laughs> but I don't make judgments, OK, other than how they got fat, OK? Mm -hmm. If I see a fat person, I don't go, oh, he's fat, therefore he's jolly, right? <laughs> a lot of them are miserable, aren't they? <laughs> if, if I see a fat girl, I don't go, oh, she'd be pretty if she lost weight. That's rarely the case, OK? <laughs> Oh, no! So don't fall for that, OK? <laughs> a lot of them started eating because they had fuck all to lose. So, no. But there's no stigma attached, because it, that, people don't even want to use the word fat now, because I think it's derogatory. It's a real taboo subject, so they use euphemisms. They go, oh, you know, Brenda, the f big girl... <laughs> That's true. What, seven foot? No, no. Look at that. Not to. What does she look like? Brenda, you know... She She's the one who's clammy, even in winter. <laughs> Just say she's fat. Mm. Nothing wrong with it. It's their choice. Up to I don't say that's fine. But they don't. They go, you know, Brenda, she's out of breath just standing up at her ah. desk. Just... <laughs> the French ways but... of classifying the Even fat. though it is their own fault, and it is their own fault, I feel sorry for them, right? No, I do. Particularly particularly fat women, because fat is a feminist issue. Men get fat and we just go, fuck it, all bought and paid for, you know. <laughs> we don't come under the same constraints of society, whereas women are inundated with images of how you should be, size zero models, this diet, that diet, look like this, keep your man. And they make such an effort, don't they, fat girls? They've all, always got lovely hair, aren't they? They're always having their hair. They've all got lovely hair. Always got lovely hair. Always got those lovely false nails. No. They? they make an effort. Anything but jogging. Oh, uh, no! <laughs> they love high heels, don't they? 
They think it makes their legs look less... It doesn't. Ah, it just... you, know, you can just hear them coming now. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't want any fat people to feel uncomfortable at one of my gigs. So next time, buy two seats. <gasps> I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Dead... This is too much, guys. I can't take this in anymore. It's trying to tell that you're not trying to bash with the fat people who are indirectly, you know, is bashing at us, is kind of insulting us. I'm kind of offended, like, seriously. Yeah. I know most people, um, they know you're fat, but because they don't want you to be offended, they will not really refer to you as, oh, see that fat lady. And one thing I noticed that most people do say is you're yeah, choppy. What's the meaning of choppy? Even there's some people that they are even fatter than I do. But because, um, no, their chest is flat, you know, and their boobs is, you know, they don't really have boobs, but their body is big, they say they are not fat. But because we have chest, we have the eat, everything, you're telling me I'm fat, I'm not a fat. I only get body. <laughs> like, I don't understand this. When it comes to jogging, oh man, it's not easy for, for the fat. Like, the way you will breathe it's an adult way to do. I know what to do to, you know, calm down. When I reduce the intake of food and, you know, go on longer strike for some hours, for some, you know, especially hours, not days, per se, <laughs> then I'll calm down. So, guys, this man, eh, mm, let's keep watching, guys. Yes, I'm Joe. Shut up. I'm not having a go. I'm just pointing out, you know, I was listening to uh, the radio in England a few weeks back, Radio 4, quite highbrow. There was a discussion about political correctness. My name came up straight away, right? And I trust there was this you. woman on there going, oh, yeah, well, it's, it's not right. Um, uh, Ricky Gervais, um, he makes jokes about fat people. Um, he wouldn't make jokes about gay people, would he? And being fat is like being gay. What? No, it's not. What? <laughs> you can't choose your sexuality. As we've established, you choose whether to eat too much or not. You know, you're, with, with, with your sexuality, you're born, you grow up, you discover you like same-sex relationships, and that's it. You're gay, OK? For being gay to be the same as being fat, you'd have to be born, be straight, grow up knowing you're straight, but gradually and consciously wean yourself onto cock. That... <laughs> Happy 16th birthday, son. Um, <laughs> this is Raoul. So, suck his cock. So, sorry, father. Suck his cock. 16 now. Suck his cock. I, I, I'm heterosexual. Oh, with his newfangled words. Suck his cock. Come on. Right. I, I don't like cock, father. Doesn't like cock. How do you know if you've never tried it? Ah! Mm. Suck his cock. I don't, suck one cock. Suck... Uh, oh, that's... Not sucking it, that's playing with you. Put it in your mouth. Put it... Uh, oh, look, t t t t have a go, you might like it. Oh, it's not so bad, is it? Oh, I fucking love these. <laughs> if that happened, then being gay would be the same as being fat, but it doesn't, so it's not, okay? I was on a plane last year, okay, going from New York to LA. Okay? Why don't you say being gay is like being fat? It's like some people are really weird though. They are so so weird. Like it's not the same thing. <laughs> being gay is a decision. It's something that as you're growing, you you find that interest you get attached to the person. That's it. But being fat, sometimes you don't plan to be fat. It just happened. Yes just happened and you can watch your weight at the same time and when you're getting fat you need to watch your weight if you don't watch your weight instantly that's when you explode you get more much more fatter but if you know you're getting fatter instantly you check try to check yourself even though you don't drop to that slim like precious babe like before at least you calm down you'll not be that flat fat <laughs> fat <laughs> let's keep watching guys okay and me and my girlfriend were one side of the plane, there was the aisle, and the other side there were these two huge fat women, okay? Proper, proper, proper fat. One of them just got on and went, can I have a belt extension? Yeah, of course you can, you've earned it, right? So... <laughs> 
proper. In fact, I was thinking of calling the pilot out and going, should one of us swap with one of them? Otherwise, we're just going to Canada. Do you know what I mean? We're... And one of them was even fatter than the other one, OK? And she was there, and she'd got on the plane with one of those takeaway buckets of fast food. Bucket! Ah! I mean, there's your first clue. When did that happen? When did fat people just give up? When did they go into a shop and go, oh, fuck it, just treat me like a farmyard animal, really? <laughs> Give me it in a bucket. In fact, just strap it to my fucking head and I'll just... A I bucket! Don't... Really? You want your meal in a bucket? I don't understand. Yes. I got to leave inside the plane forever. She's there and she's chowing down, right? And I swear, she turns to her fat friend and says, this is the best fried chicken I've had all day. But I'm not having a go. I'm not having a go. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. What? Because even though it is their own fault, and it is their own fault, um, I don't know if you know this about fat people. Um, they fucking love cake. Oh, my God! They love it. They love it right? Oh! And you don't got I blame me. the food industries. <laughs> because you go into the supermarket and it's just packed with that stuff. Everything's packed with hydrogenated fats and extra cannabis and sugar and butter and everything. And they, they love that, OK? And there's always a big door, isn't there, to a supermarket? It's always... They've got a quadruple door, isn't it? No one's ever been too fat to get through the door of a supermarket, OK? <laughs> and it opens automatically, so they don't have to waste calories pushing anything. There's just... And it's a good job it opens automatically, because usually it's glass and they can see the pie from down the road and they're in like that. <laughs> uh, uh, grazing, right? So, I say, keep the big door, keep the big door, sure, keep the big door, come on fat people, come in you go. But when they get in there, it's all fresh fruit and veg. It's all whole grain, it's all stuff that's good for you, okay? Of course they'll be confused at first, they go, well that's, that's not real food to them, they think Brussels sprouts is packaging, right? They're, You're not to be eating leaves. <laughs> they're looking, where's the cakes, where's the cakes? The cakes are over here, but the cakes are through a different door, but this door is human-sized, oh. OK? <laughs> so now they go, there's the cakes, they go, oh, fuck, I can't get in, I can't... I can't get through the fucking door, I can't... Oh, this <laughs> man! And they're starving, they go, oh, God, I've got, what's this? I've got to eat some, what's this, a banana? <laughs> <laughs> and they go, oh, no, I still can't... Back another carrot, and... <laughs> back and forth for days, and the fat's fallen off them, soon they can slip through the door. Oh, and have a cake. No, they can't get out again. Not no, fear. but I mean... This is not fair, no? <laughs> This is actually not fair, seriously. What? How can you say that? Uh-uh. There are a lot of shopping malls or supermarkets that... where you get the cake, fat people can't enter. Well, I'm not fat, yeah. I'm not in this category. Thank God I'm not in this category. Am I fat? Okay, <laughs> but that part he actually got me when he said fat people, fat people love cake. Are you kidding me? Don't slim people also love cake. Why are you coming for me today? Don't come for me, oh, at all. This man has really come for me today because I really love cake. I really love cake. But the same way I love cake, I can't do without cake. Yes, I can't. Let's say I eat cake like let's say three times in a year. That's all, and that's doing bad things. But in normal day, you can't see me go to a shop, shop right, or shopping or supermarket to go and get a cake to eat. For what? I'll use that money to do something else. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love cake, but not to that extent. Ah, oh, man, this was really fun to watch, guys. But, man, at that part where he said, the woman actually went with a bucket of food inside the plane. Like, I am going to come down from the plane or I, I don't get it. What kind of on guy is that that you take a bucket or is it a small bucket or big even though it's just small bucket, it's too much. That was too much. Like I can't actually finish such food. <laughs> Some people are really trying. They can't eat. They can actually eat. <laughs> and that part is that like, fast people need to get to cheers to able to see to all men. Oh, no, 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 don't do this to us. See, some of us, we are not actually proud of being fat. A lot of people are actually working on themselves. It's just that, hey, it's so easy. So, and they can't do without, you know, 
food is for the stomach, stomach is for the food. <laughs> Well, actually, me, I know how to actually watch my weight when I'm adding up, and I do that perfectly. Where I know that I'm getting too fat, I actually check my weight. I reduce some, you know, calories. I try to reduce some food intake, and you know, check myself, and that's it. And drink enough water. I drink a lot of water. It helps a lot to reduce your fat. So, guys, that's all I have for in this particular video. I really enjoyed this video. I don't know if you did. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more reaction videos. My name is BK Crown. I'll see you guys in my next video. Catch ya.